Hi everyone, I'm live vlogging from ICSI and I'm here today with Dawn Laurie and she was the recipient of the most influential paper award, so that is super exciting. Okay, so Dawn, congrats on the paper. Can you give our viewers an idea of what the paper is about? So um, this was t a paper we did 10 years ago and we looked at identifier style. So what I mean by identifier style is how did programmers compose their identifiers? Were they made up of full words? So things that you could actually read. Did they invent vocabulary, trying to abbreviate so they had to type less, or did they just use single letters? Um, and we wanted to see how well programmers could read this code and then describe it. So how well could they understand that code once reading it with different identifiers? So structure the same, identifiers different. Okay, get out of and it? what were the findings? What's the best way to name your identifier? So you want to use full words or uh, meaningful identifiers. So single words or single letters really hurt your um, readers. So you found that in the experiment that people performed worse on one letter identifiers or short ones? They, they, they could not understand the code if they had very short identifiers, single letters. Okay, wow, that's actionable advice. And you also did some research into gender and variable names. Yeah. Could you talk a bit more about that? So we found that these single letters hurt women more than men. But if you look at either the abbreviations or the full words, there was no difference for women, but men got more out of the full words. So women were able to deal better with the abbreviations. <laughs> wow. Do you have any idea on why that is? Do we I know that? I, 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 my my thought is is that um, as women kind of look and think about alternative um, solutions, alternative answers to problems, they're able to think about oh this is a different viewpoint on that same um, piece of information. And in another study, they found that men kind of go right to the answer, and so they might have less practice. At thinking about alternative ways of expressing it. So we are more open-minded, that's what you're saying, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks a lot for that. Yeah.